With the stay at home order, so many businesses have pivoted and now they're doing their lessons virtually, including Pacific Animal Productions, which is right here in San Diego. Jessica is joining us. First of all, Jessica, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. I'm glad you're here. And I also have my seven-year-old son, Case, here who wanted to see and meet some of your animals. So who do you want to introduce oh, us to? He was so excited to see you guys. He's already waving at you. This is Jelly. And Jelly is a uh, Egyptian fruit bat. Let's put him up nice and close so you can see that cool face. So Jelly is an Egyptian fruit bat and they come from uh, Africa or the Middle East, uh, just like their name kind of implies. And of course, Pace, what do you think that he's gonna be eating out in, uh, where, in the habitat that he lives in? What do you think he's gonna eat? What do you think of grapes? He picks grapes. Ooh, oh my goodness, those are one of his favorite things to eat. Basically, any type of fruit is going to be his favorite thing to eat. He is known as a mega bat, and that's because he's one of the, believe it or not, larger types of bat out in the wild. Mega bats usually eat things like fruit, pollen, and nectar. So those are definitely his favorite things to eat. Oh my goodness, he's pretty wild. Who else can you introduce us to? Yeah. So next we have another animal, uh, and we're talking a lot about animals that come from rainforest today because tomorrow is our Earth Day extravaganza on Facebook Live. So today we also have a Varoon, and his name is Vinny, and vinegaroons get their name the vinegaroon because they actually can spray an acid that smells like vinegar. And so what will they do out in the wild is if the predator is bothering them, they'll be able to spray it out and that will burn and kind of irritate their predator so that they can hopefully scurry away to safety. What so, do you think? Cool. He thinks it's cool to be able to spray something that stinks. Right, exactly. What do you think, Pace? Are you a bug guy or no? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, he thinks he's a bug guy. Can you guys hear my next friend? I think he's ready to come out too. Oh, so, I want to see him. Can you hear him over there? He's pretty loud. Yes, yeah. Mo. And Mo comes all the way from Australia. He's known as a laughing kookaburra. Oh my goodness, the camera is getting that great shot of Mo. Now, do you want to hear him laugh today, Pace? Do you want to hear him laugh? Yeah. All right, ready? We're going to see if we can get him to do his crazy kookaburra laugh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do you think? That's a pretty loud laugh, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a really loud laugh. Almost too loud for Zoom, the... Uh... <laughs> Kind of They're probably picking that up pretty good. So kookaburras are a bird of prey, just like an owl, an eagle, or a hawk. But you might notice that they look a lot different than an owl, an eagle, or a hawk. Much smaller, and they've got that really big beak. That's what he's going to use to catch his prey out in the rainforest of Australia. And well, just like this is so cool that we can do this virtually now. And I know that you're offering like classes and lessons still online, just like you and I are talking right now. Yeah, we're really excited about that um, because now, even though we cannot maybe be in your home or your school or your library, uh, we are set up to visit you virtually with all of our animals. So you can visit PacificAnimalProductions.com. We have all of our virtual learning safaris, zoo prize parties, and even meet and greets if you wanted uh, maybe a fun way to spice up a corporate Zoom call. Um, we can do that too. Maybe a sloth could visit you or a kookaburra could visit you and your co workers um, kind of make it a little bit more fun so we're just still de dedicated to bringing education and animals to you guys in any way we can I heard you have one more friend is that right we should have one more right we're gonna switch out Mo for <laughs> 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 Wings, I know, right? So that's all good. All right, next we have our last friend. This one's definitely not going to fly. His name is Amador. 
And Amador is known as a screaming hairy armadillo. So Amador gets his name the screaming hairy armadillo because of all of these hairs along his back and also because he screams. So we don't hear them screaming right now because they scream when they're scared or threatened. And then they'll use these long claws that he's showing you to bury himself underground and get to safety. So he's a asking if we can get one of these. These are in the wild. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, they don't make a great pet. And I'll let you in on a little secret. They're a little stinky, too. They're a little stinky, too. <laughs> this has been so fun. Where can people go for more information for some of your virtual classes? Yeah, so if you wanted some more information, you can visit our website, PacificAnimalProductions.com. Uh, and also, make sure you're tuning in to our Facebook Live. Our event uh, on Earth Day is our Earth Day extravaganza. Um, so be sure to check that out, too.